Hello YouTubers. In this video I will talk about counting in Tia Portal. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Counting can be used in various applications. For example counting of working hours of the motor, counting of pulses, counting of lug of the conveyor and so on. There are various of techniques that can be used to realize counting. First one I would like to talk about, is counter. There are three types of counters, counter up, counter down and bidirectional counter. Counters can be found in the instructions library, folder named counter operations. As you understood from the type names, counter up increments value on each trigger of input. Counter down works opposite, it decrements value. Up and down counter increments or decrement counting value depending on which input is triggered. In this example I will use count up counter. Drag and drop count up counter into the network of your programming block. I will use OB1. For each counter, a system data block of type IEC counter is created. To increment counting value, input of the counter needs to be triggered. I will add a contact to control the input of the counter. By the help of the reset, counted value will be zeroed. Process value input is used to activate the output of the counter when the specified value is reached. You might want to use it as a trigger in your program. I will save process value into separate data block. Let's try to simulate the counter, to see how it works. As you can see, counter value increments when I trigger the input of the counter. Also, I believe that you have noticed, that it doesn't matter how long I do keep counter input triggered, the counter value increments only on the positive edge of the input trigger. If I trigger reset input, counter value will be zeroed and it will stay zero until reset is released counter does not count if reset is active I am about to replace my counter input trigger tag with a clock of 1 Hertz so counter value will increment every second As you can see, counter increments value every second. By using counter output I will make counter to reset itself.
Now the counter reset itself every time it reaches process value. To make counter more advanced, I will add additional contact in serial for clock trigger. It will add pause and resume functionality to the counter. Now the counter can be paused and resumed on demand. Another technique to realize counting is to use math instruction. I will use math instruction, add. My add instruction will be triggered by 1 Hz system clock. The value should increment on the interval of 1 second. Unfortunately the result is not as expected. It is because value is increased on every cycle of the CPU while clock is triggered. In difference to the counter, math instruction needs edge trigger. After adding positive edge detector counter started to behave as expected. To reset the counted value, zero needs to be assigned to the tag. Instruction move will help with this task. There is another math instruction, that automatically reset the value. It is called modulo. 
let's add one to see the result. I will make a setup, where value is counted from 0 to 8, and then start over. The last technique I would like to show you, is usage of cyclic interrupts. To add cyclic interrupt, you need to add block of type OB, organization block. Select cyclic interrupt, and set cyclic time to 1000 milliseconds. Open newly created cyclic interrupt OB, and insert two math instructions, add, and mod. Let's monitor for result. As you can see, counter works as expected. Value is incremented from 0 to 8, and then start over. That is all I wanted to show you. If this video was useful for you, Please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.